what is up youtube what's going on today all right so today destiny 2 hotfix 4.0.1.11 has been dropped we're gonna go over it really quickly and run down a few things that have changed for today that are active within this patch or this hotfix the patch should be coming out i believe roughly on thursday so uh stay tuned for that should be dropping thursday 9 a.m if i'm not mistaken um so pay, stay tuned for that these are just hot fixes small patches small things that they're activating for now until the full patch comes in on thursday but first off we have activities they fixed an issue where killing a hive ghost was granted uh wasn't granting more than was granting more than one token in activities they also fixed an issue with grandmasters the light blade and the birthplace of the vile where they weren't contributing towards the conquest triumph in pvp they fixed an issue allowing players to exit the play arena on the eternity map didn't know that was a thing um haven't even been really getting that map in a rotation so uh, yeah, I guess there it is. And for you heathens who were using that, ha ha, get out. Uh, Gambit. They fixed an issue where killing the envoys would not drop the primeval shield and also where the primeval would not appear after banking 100 moats. I feel like that was something they should have took down the whole game mode for if that was happening for over a week. Um, And I didn't even know that was a thing. I haven't gone into Gambit at all this season. So there is that too. So gameplay and investments. Under the armor, they've made some changes to. Two exotic pieces here. The Syntheseps, they fixed an issue where the Biotic Enhancement perk prevented shattering an encased player with an uncharged melee. That is now no longer the case. You should be able to destroy everybody. And Renewal Grass, they made the changes that they spoke about in the TWAB last weekend. Uh, while equipped, the Renewal Grass now increases the base cooldown of dust field grenades from 62 seconds to 152 seconds. The outgoing damage penalty applied to players affected by a Renewal Grass dust field grenade has also been reduced from 50% to 20%, and this does not affect anything in PvE. Weapons. Um, the Summoner Auto Rifle that Sank gives you as a rank up is now fixed, where the Masterwork is now showing. Okay, And then the abilities. They've made the changes that they said they would to uh, kind of change the cooldowns on a few different abilities that were just a little bit overpowered. I've ran through on PvE. Um, to see what these felt like and it it's it's a, it's not a significant change at all it does feel a bit better um not as quickly but uh here they are the offensive bulwark void aspect now grants 60 percent less grenade energy regeneration and pvp game modes and then the titan barricade base cooldown when when the bastion void aspect is equipped is now 82 seconds up from 53 seconds this matches the recharge rate of warlocks rifts Okay, the skip grenades, the impact damage re is reduced from eight to four. And then the grenade tracking strength now begins after one second down from 50% strength after three seconds. Okay, the Axiom Bolts base cooldown has been increased from 91 seconds to 152. So now it should be a little bit longer to get. And then Whisper of Chain now provides 15% bonus resistance against players when they are near a stasis crystal down from 25%. All right, for PVE, again, this has no effect on PVE at all. The 25% still stands for PVE. So reiterating that again, back on um, all the changes for the renewal grass, all the changes to that have no bearings on PVE at all. It's only for PVP. Same thing with Whisper of Change. It only has bearings in PVP no effect in pve so you shouldn't see any changes across the board on those all right and then for gen general uh little fixes they fixed the stability crash where there was a memory leak contributing to instability and then they've also reduced the text chat spam throttle so that you can type a little bit more in there before it says you're sending way too many messages um hopefully they fix the other issue where my text is now showing up in a straight line I have no idea what that's about but other than that that's going to be it for the hot fixes for today stay tuned for thursday where we will be going over the swab again hopefully a little bit more in-depth stuff about next season sandbox since we're coming to a close outside of that thank you guys for checking out the video hopefully this was helpful in some way shape or form just to give you a little update and if you if it was make sure you click the like button all that fun jazz to see more content click the subscribe button i'll see you in the next video peace